Bill Schwab, WineBuzz.com here. I'm here with Mark Carter from Carter Cellars. We tasted through his Envy line, which is actually a collaboration with our good friend Mills Bengay and yourself, 50-50. That is correct. Excellent. And then we go into your personal level here at the Carter Cellars. Hmm? And we've been making uh, the Carter since 98. Mills was the original winemaker. And, uh, you know, this is the, uh, this uh, vineyard is actually Revelo, which we've been making since 04. And so this is uh, yes, Oliver, Oliver Backwards. Oliver Backwards. Ridge, Backwards. Ridge Oliver uh, planted the vineyard with uh, actually David Abreu. Oh, David. Yeah. Yeah. So got some good uh, pedigree behind it. And so. Willie Oliver is the owner of the vineyard today, who has uh, El Molino. And, and this is 100% uh, Cabernet? It is 100% Cabernet. Very rare in the wine world. When you're buying California Cabernet, it only has to be 75% Cabernet. Correct me if I'm wrong. 75% Cabernet. Cabernet to be called Cabernet. You can throw anything else you want to in there as long as it's 75% Cabernet. Um, but 100% Cabernets are very, very rare. You just don't find them because it takes a lot of work and effort in the vineyard to make the Cabernet shine by itself. If you slap a little Merlot or a little Petit Syrah or something else in there, you can fill in the gaps that, that the vineyard might have failed you on for Cabernet. But if you're 100% Cabernet, you have to do it right in the vineyard. That's correct. Mm. Incredible stuff. Uh, extracted. Thick. Mm. Mm. Uh, you got a new winemaker, correct? Well, yeah. not new, but a, a different winemaker, correct? Well, actually, all the way through it, uh, all, everybody we had was from Nils. Um, actually, assistant winemakers helped make the wine. Jeff Fontanello took over. And then um, last year in 09, we actually had Jeff uh, Smith start making the wine, who had been up at Outpost with Thomas Brown for okay. the, the last 10 years. Wow, it's a tremendous Cabernet. A very deep, very extracted, a lot of layers here. There's so much going on. Um, it's sort of hard to define. You don't get the simple cassis flavors going on. In, a great uh, oak profile to it, but not over oak, not uh, an oak driven wine, an oak supporting wine here. Um, wow, sort of at a quandary of what fruit I'm getting out of here. I definitely get the cassis. I get a smidgen of, of herbaceousness sort of on the, on the side there, but plum, maybe a choke cherry in there. Mm. I think he's, uh, this wine has got a lot of floral notes to it too, mm -hmm. which is, but the oak, uh, actually, uh, these wines are always pretty extracted, so they can handle a lot of really good French oak. Mm -hmm. It's all made 100% new oak and every year. And you use all French oak? All brand new French That's oak. That's sort of a deviation year. from Nils' uh, original direction, I'm sure. Well, actually, some of his first, uh, that uh, Roth 85 was all brand new French yeah. oak. And, um, well, I know he toast. uses those A and O. Those, uh, those work really good on a lot of the other wines mm -hmm. we do too. Yeah, so. And they leak a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful wine. Um, I wish I could tell you this wine was, was less money because uh, um, it's really a commitment to spend over $100 on a bottle of wine. But let me tell you, it's, it's worth every penny here. Um, what, would you, what would you put down the lifespan? On this particular one. Well, um, Parker tasted through our 07s and he said all of them would last like 25 to 30 years. I would give it a solid 20, definitely. <laughs> definitely a solid 20. And I, I think it would improve for the next five and then just sort of hold and drink beautiful for that time. Parker gave this a decent rating, if I remember correctly, about 95 points. Yes. We don't like to sell by points. Um, we don't like to say, oh, 95 points, you've got to buy it. 95 just sort of confirms what we're tasting here. This is a tremendous wine, tremendous depth of character, rich, extracted. I'm still getting a finish from it. Uh, that's almost a minute later, and I'm still getting the finish off of it. Um, kudos, great, great job. And we just opened it today, too. Uh, a lot of times a little decanting will help. It's mm -hmm. open this morning, and so, um, you know, it's... You can enjoy it uh, even if you just open it up. Uh, well, it's about noon, and so it's had a couple hours yeah, under its belt. A yeah. couple hours open. It's still evolving, still showing more, still giving more depth to it. Um, uh, 
great job. How many, how many uh, bottles you produce in this? 4,000? Yeah, um, almost all the wines, uh, we make 750 cases of wine, so most of them are about 150 cases each year. We make five different uh, vineyards and uh, blends that we do, so there's only five wines, 750 cases. So. 150 cases is a very, very small production. If you would like any of this, sometimes, and I've said it before, sometimes the deal is just getting it. So. Uh, we're, we're not really looking to do a deal or a promotion on this. The deal is just getting your hands on this wine. And uh, we've got to hammer out the, the price tag, but it's going to be in the 100 plus range. Um, uh, if we're lucky, very, very lucky, and I can sweet talk them, maybe we could squeak in the $99 range and squeak under 100. I mean, hopefully. Who's working me here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, is a, it is a tremendous wine. It's worth every, every, every penny of it. Um, uh, 95 points Parker, if you're into that sort of thing. The enthusiast just gave it, it 95. Was, it was 95 from the enthusiast, yes. Yeah, 95 enthusiasts. Everybody loves the wine. Um, uh, if you want it, we'll sell it to you, but we're not cutting any deals on it. Bill Schwab, thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. <laughs>